Hello everybody, welcome to Joe's Kitchen Capers. Today we are going to make the Changing Habits liver pate. So I'm doing it today in the Thermomix and you can also do it just in a pot on the stove and I'll put the alternative method underneath so you can check it out. The thing is when you're cooking with liver is not to overcook it. So let's make a start. It's really simple. I'm doing a half quantity of the recipe, the Changing Habits recipe. I've got 250 grams here of our chicken livers. We've got a few spices that are going in, garam masala, ground coriander, I've got some ground black pepper, half a teaspoon of caraway seeds. I'm using ghee today, which if you check out at the end of the week, I'll have a ghee recipe up as well. And I've got half or quarter of a cup of some of my chicken broth, and we're using the Changing Habits uh, seaweed salt as well. And I've got a clove of garlic. I think the recipe calls for garlic powder, but I'm just using fresh garlic because I haven't got any. And I've got some beautiful, fresh, new seasoned garlic that we're going so, to. Here we go. And it's simple. In go our livers and our broth. My pepper. Caraway seeds, ghee, a teaspoon of garam masala, and about the same of coriander, teaspoon in there. Some of our Himalayan or our changing habits seaweed salt. And then I'm simply going to grate in this garlic with the microphone. And all we're going to do in the thermomix is we're going to bring it up to 100 degrees. I'll put it on for a couple of minutes. Just put it on soft stir. And I'm just going to watch that temperature come up to 100 degrees. And once it's reached that, we're going to whiz it up into a smooth pate. Okay, so that has almost come up to temperature. It's at 95. So it's only going to take a few more seconds. 98. 100 so I'm simply going to stop that and then we're going to puree it but let me just show you it's cooked it smells really good so now we're simply going to puree it so I'm going to whiz that around it smells delicious and liver is such a great Food. It's full of nutrients, full of vitamins and minerals. Um, is great for a detox. And is really one, is a superfood in itself. I know it's not used a lot these days. It's becoming a bit more popular. Now, if you can have a look at that, I just like to rub it between my fingers and just check the consistency of it. I can feel that that's a little bit grainy still so I want it a lot smoother so I'm just going to give it another little whiz and while I'm there I'll give it a taste test and see if I just need to adjust that seasoning so let's give it a few more seconds So that's had another 10 seconds. I'm happy with the seasoning of it, but at this stage, if you wanted to add a bit more salt and pepper, you can do so. And that is just a much nicer consistency. I've got a dish that we've prepared and we can pour that into it. And that is going to just chill in the fridge. It's made about a cup full. And let me just tell you that this is much nicer the next day. Once you've let it cooled and refrigerated it, the flavours of those spices come through and it is delicious. Yes. So here it is. It's ready to go into the fridge and just cool and we'll do a taste test later and see what it's like. I'm lucky enough to have my lovely mother-in-law Anne with me today who's travelled across the Tasman 
to spend Christmas with us. Happily. Happily. So we are going to see what this chicken liver, liver pate tastes like. I've just put a little bit of thyme on the top and try one of those, my dear, and see what you think. Mm. I hope it's okay. I will tell you, Joe. Oh, good. Thank you. Mm. Fishy. Really good. Mm. Mm. So... You can taste all the spices in that, which is really lovely. And the liver, you wouldn't even know it's liver. Did you used to eat liver a lot growing up? Mm. And it's a cheap cut of meat. Mm. I think those livers that we use cost me, I think they were less than a dollar. So it's a really good cut of meat, full of iron, mm. full of good nutrition. So let me know what you think of it. It's a great way to make a pate. And we'll see you next time in the kitchen. Leave me a comment, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for a lot more nutritious food. And thank you for being thank my you. taste tester. For being my cook. <laughs> Great. All right. See you, see you next time. Bye. Bye.